Hello, Libra. This is your reading for November 2019. Those born of the zodiac sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising. New energies and hopefully positive energies for Libra. November 2019, full Celtic cross. As you know, this will not resonate with all Libra individuals. But I do try to reach the majority, and I always look for a positive reading. But if we don't get one, we work through it, you know? Let's see what's going on here. Beginning energy. New energies. Page of Pentacles. I'm getting that a lot for no matter what. Page of Pentacles can be a younger type um, earth sign. It could be Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Or it could be messages that are coming in that are practical. Or someone who's young at heart but practical. We shall see. That's the incoming energy. The Empress. You got growth coming in. You got growth coming in somewhere. It's a positive energy. It's in the upright for some of you. A few of you, if you uh, are looking to uh, become pregnant, you know, you, you may you may achieve this or you may be aiming for this. For others, you're just going to have blessings and growth in your life. What's crossing it? The King of Swords. You? Are you crossing this growth? Are you trying to hamper this growth? Or maybe it's another air sign. Because the King of Swords is what's trying to... It's not that it's stopping it. It's just kind of getting in the way a little bit. Okay? And that's an air type element. Your goal is the Knight of Cups. That's a great, great card. It's a great omen, the Knight of Cups. It could be a water sign. As you know, I don't associate, I don't assign one um, zodiac sign to a court card because we're dealing with the masses here. But this could be a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. But I see it as a good omen. Is maybe want to give good things or get good things, and maybe you will because what's crowning you too is what is there, you know, in a way, you know, your aspirations. And it's a great one, like I said. The High Priestess is the foundation. Your intuition is spot on. Um, I, when I see, I see this as someone very intuitive. Someone is uh, going within themselves to make something happen in their lives. They trust themselves. So trust your intuition, okay? Trust your intuition. In the past, you're coming out of a stagnant situation. Or you're trying to come out of a stagnant situation. Maybe you were kind of suffering. It could be all kind of things. But the hangman is there, and it's just like it was waiting before. Waiting, waiting, waiting. And with the waiting card, the hangman, I see a lot of, uh, when someone's waiting, they're almost like suffering, you know, while they're waiting. That's in the past position. In the near future, you may cut something out with the Ace of Swords. It could be that you refuse to speak your truth, or maybe you hold yourself back. It's all kind of things. It's like... You want to state something, you want to do something new and you want to state it, but you're kind of holding back a little. Your intuition is right and blessings are coming. I see what you're trying to do is go for that good omen in life, you know, things that you love, things that you like, thing, you know, even love in itself. But as, at the same time, you may hold back a little, but not too much. Possible future outcome and advice from the universe is the Queen of Rods. The Queen of Rods, let me see if I can get all this in. I'm going to give you a love reading at the end, too. Three, three-card love reading. But um, that's at the very end for those looking just for love. Now, the Queen of Rods is um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They are in the upright. And they're very passionate, kind, and giving. Like I said, generous. When they're in the upright, sometimes they're very beautiful. But they could be your possible future outcome. I don't know what the advice would be. I would have to clarify. Once I start clarifying, it can change the story up or give us a lot more information. So bear with me. What is coming towards you is a page of cups. Again, it could be a younger type person. But this one is emotionally sound, very loving, and very kind, if it is a person. It could be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But it could be messages of kindness, friendship, and love also. I see that in pages. Your hopes and fears is a knight of rods. Again, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It doesn't have to be that you're afraid of them. It could be that maybe you're afraid they won't commit because the knight of rods is always very busy. They're here, there, everywhere. And maybe you're afraid of them for some reason. Or maybe you're hoping towards this person because they're very passionate. And again, very attractive. And they, when they do something for you, they do it quickly and they do it with all their heart, you know? In the very end, the Magician. Man, I'm so glad I got decent cards. 
I hardly ever get that. And I'll show you my cards. Look, like they stay all in there. Even the negatives, look, see? I don't take anything out. And I don't hand pick them, you know? When I read something, I read something. But you got the magician in the upright is, is the final outcome. Like I said, I'll clarify these. You can change the story or give us more information. But the magician is able to manifest whatever they want. They have the ability to do so. And apparently, Libras that I'm reading for, this resonates for, go for what you're wanting. Okay? Don't, don't hold back. I, I think that's the only thing that I see kind of hindering you is that you may hold back a little. But I do see a lot of passion and a lot of love here. Okay? So now, let's go back to the beginning. We got the Empress. And the King of Swords is crossing that. And the Empress, maybe, you know... It's the mother, you know, the mother figure almost, the, the, the blessings, the growth, enjoyment, you know, things that are coming in. But maybe, like I said, you yourself are crossing it or another air sign with the King of Swords. Can I have two cards for the Empress in the Upright and the King of Swords crossing it, please? Two cards. Some embattlement, maybe some struggles, maybe that's why something's getting in the way. There's a little bit of a struggle of arguments, possibly, maybe some competition, and someone needs to come out of hermit mode. That's that's the obstacle. Someone needs to do it. I've been saying that, you know, that someone's holding back a little. Don't hold back if this is what you're wanting. Now, what is crowning you? Where the goal is the Knight of Cups. I need two cards for that, and I told you what that Knight of Cups is all about. I'm not going to repeat myself. Well, I might, but I need two cards. I need two cards from the Knight of Cups. Two cards. The Libra. The Magician, again, you got this. Made in the Shade, Knight of Swords. Whatever you're trying to attempt that you really, really want to do, that you really want to manifest, you, you should do it. I am serious. The Knight of Cups, the Magician, the Knight of Swords, are, they're heading towards each other. And you know these can be male or female. It's just not male. But these people can manifest something with each other. Now, <clears throat> the foundation is the high priestess. Trust your intuition. Trust your gut instinct. You are spot on. Someone should trust their instinct with you if they have not you know, something they want to deal with with you. Maybe they shouldn't hold back. Maybe the cross watchers shouldn't hold back. But we shall say, the high priest is in the upright. Why are you there for Libra as a foundation? Give me two cards. Two cards, please. Page of Pentacles. Someone's working on something. They're thinking about what to do next. You, if you're you're attempting to do something or somebody around you, you know, like the cross watcher, <clears throat> with the Knight of Wands, they're contemplating on whether they should do something or not. <clears throat> whether something they're going to work on will work. And they're trying to trust in their intuition. I think they are, but they're holding back again with the Page of Pentacles in reverse. Should I or shouldn't I do this? That is the thing. It's the foundation. Someone's, you know, your intuition is right, okay? Um, if you're having doubts, I say go forward to something if this if this resonates, you know, if it's your life, if, if you feel this is your reading. And in the past, you got the hangman. is in the upright. And it could be that you're kind of... You were kind of stagnant. I'm going to say, I'm going to call it what it is. You were stagnant. You were waiting for something, kind of suffering a little. So the hangman in the upright in the past position. While you're there for Libra, I need two cards, please. Temperance, regaining balance, and the Knight of Cups again. Wow. Good omen. Balance. You're waiting for that Knight of Cups. You're regaining balance. And it looks like you're a goal and you're able to manifest it. I see you coming towards each other, whatever it is. Now, in the very near future, you may say, oh, I better not. I may have to stop this. I'm afraid. It could be that you're afraid to offer this new uh, beginning, you know, straight to the point, right, really going for it. So the Ace of Swords in reverse while you're there in the very near future. And yes, you can change this. You can always change the path. So while you're there, two cards, please, for the very near future. Yeah, you're afraid. You're afraid. You're afraid. Some like you. I can feel some of you saying this. It's not opinion. This is my feelings. Is that someone's afraid they're going to get stabbed? You know, not stabbed. Um, betrayed, messed over, and they're trying to think practical. They're trying to be practical about it with the King of Pentacles. So they're they're holding back a little, thinking if I go for this. Will end up hurting me in the end because I could feel somebody doing this. And but the King of Pentacles is very practical, very straight up. Looked highly upon the community, very um, set in their their ways. 
They're not terrible people. People go to them. They're financial. Usually can, they, they're able to gain their financial stability if they haven't already. But this person you may not trust or they don't trust you or someone may hold back a little. It's like you're getting like thinking too much. You know, sometimes a hermit thinks too much sometimes. It's not that it's wrong or right. Don't, don't get me wrong. It's just that they get to thinking so much because of past arguments with the Five of Wands that they may stifle their blessings if they don't go for it. So if this is your feeling, if you get like where I don't trust this person or whatever, um, or I don't trust the situation, maybe you're, you're, you're um, second guessing your intuition, you know, it's saying here, don't, you know, don't, don't worry about things that um, aren't real, you know. Now, the possible future outcome and advice from the universe is the Queen of Rods. Queen of Rods, I told you, that's about a fire type sign. It's someone's very passionate, someone very kind, very given, especially in the upright. So, Queen of Rods in the upright, why are you there for Libra? Is a possible future outcome and advice from the universe. It's saying you may hold back from this. It's not saying for you, too. It's saying for you, the Queen of Rods is pretty cool. She's in the upright. He's in the upright. Remember, I don't assign a, a gender. But it could be that you're, you are holding back or they are holding back or you fear holding back. It's saying this is a good person. Why are you holding back from them? Why are you holding back from everything? Because I see you manifesting. I see you're wanting to do things. But I also see you contemplating whether you should move forward or not. Now, this person in the outside, Page of Cups, they're a very kind person, loving, and they want to offer love. You know, they're young at heart. They have a beautiful heart. They really do. Page of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, possibly, but not necessarily. Page of Cups, heading towards Libra. Why are you there? Give me some, some more, more information. I need more information. At least two cards. Two cards. Hierophant reverse. They're trying to move on from a troubling situation. Maybe they themselves were in a relationship that didn't work out and they're trying to move forward now and they're offering love and friendship. They want to offer this. Or this could be someone you were in a relationship. It could be either or. Someone you were in a relationship that did not work out. Someone you were going to commit to. But you end up moving on for some reason. And maybe for some of you, maybe... If it is a person from the past, maybe you kind of, it didn't work out, something happened, and maybe you separate it for a little bit, but, and maybe they will come towards you, or maybe they want something from you again, but you're not trusting it, or you're, you're afraid, you're afraid, you're thinking, will they hurt me? But I think that if you trust yourself and trust your intuition, not give in to paranoia is what I'm saying, but really think your gut feeling, not what you're feeling in your chest, that's fear. What's your gut feeling? Go with your gut feeling, okay? Now, the night of rise, this is your hopes and fears. Maybe you're hoping for this person. Maybe you're hoping for passion. Maybe you're, wanting, maybe you're taking on this energy and wanting passion, even though it's a fire-type energy. We all have something like this in our birth charts, you know? Our astrology, our full astrology. Now, the night of rise and the upright and the hopes and fears of Libra while you're there. You're feeling about left at, being left out and you want to come out of disappointment. Now, like I said, this could be someone you're involved with, the Knight of Rods. you taking on this energy yourself. But it's like you're afraid of being left out and afraid of not someone not being there for you. Um, you want to come out of disappointment. So you got all these things. You got all, I think this is both hopes and, and fears for you, you know? Hoping for one thing and fearing for another in all these cards. Usually I get, you know, one or the other, but I think this is a mix. In the very end, you got the magician in the upright. And the magician in the upright, you got it twice. It's a major arcana, and it's usually etched in stone. You can control how you work with the magician, but it's there. So the magician is able to manifest what they're wanting. <clears throat> they have the tools, the knowledge, the ability, even maybe even a little magical, you know? But the magician is in the upright. So, Libra, what do you want to manifest? Go for it.
you got it. It's in the bag almost, you know. Actually, I think it is in the bag as long as you don't uh, let that uh, fear that you feel in your chest, instead of listening to your gut instinct and going for something, don't let fear take over. So the magician is in the upright while you're there. We're going to find out what you can manifest or put away from you if you don't want something. So the magician in the upright while you're there. I need two cards for Libra. Two cards for Libra. Ace of Swords again. Yeah, you're afraid. So you can manifest something that you were afraid to do before. Something you cut off. Something that you did not want to collaborate with. Now you can either turn this around and collaborate with the person and go for what you're wanting with the Ace of Swords and tell someone your truth. Or you can manifest it the opposite way and say and give in to that uh, uh, fear you have in your chest instead of listening to gut instinct where someone wants to offer something to you. You are afraid of too much. You are afraid of too much. In the end, a tower situation happens. It's not a bad card to tower. Not all the time. It's something unexpected. So I'm going to put the tower card right here. And we're going to clarify the tower. What is unexpected that's going to happen with Libra? I need another card, please. I need another card for Libra. I know how come with the tower. What's going on? Something unexpected does happen. One more card. Maybe two. You come out of failure. You come out of failure of a, of a, out of a control situation. I don't think you're expecting that. You're afraid that, yeah, it's going to move forward with the Knight of Pentacles. Something's moving forward slowly, but you do have a tower situation. Another thing this could be with the tower is that you let fears come, you know, come to you, you know, um, over, you know, just, you know, ride over you where you can't control, you're afraid of it, and then you end something because of fear. That could be it too. But I think you overcome it because you got the magician twice and you got the uh, seven of pentacles in reverse overcoming failure over an out of control situation. So whatever happens, you have the ability to control this. You have like, and it'll come in, it'll keep on coming in. It'll be slow, but it'll keep on coming in, but it's stable. But I see someone wanting to come towards you, like I said, and maybe they come at, maybe they're coming out of a a relationship situation. They're trying to move on from troubled waters, and maybe you're not expecting that also. But I'm going to go ahead and do a three three card love reading, and it may take off from this, or I may get a totally different energy. I need a three card, three part reading for Libra. Three. Three card, three pile reading for Libra. For the Angel Love Romance cards. We need three cards here for the first one. For Libra, November 2019. Second. Second one, Libra. November 2019. Third card for Libra, or three pile, the second, third pile for Libra, November 2019, Angel Romance reading, come on, three cards for November. You can choose a pile, or you can choose all three, you know, maybe it'll speak to you in some way. I've seen that happen for a few people. First, it says to retreat from something, forgive and learn very soon, so something's going to happen very soon. But this is retreat. Maybe it's retreat, retreat from um, feeling the fears. Because it tells you to forgive and learn. So this could be very well someone that you had a relationship with um, at first. And they may be coming into your life very soon. So decide on what you're wanting. You don't have to give in to this person if you don't want to. You can manifest with whatever you're wanting. You are the magician. You got the Knight of Cups twice. So you got a lot of love coming your way. It says to flirt if you got the second pile. Give this relationship a chance. And um, it could be new love actually coming in. So this person could be coming in from a bad relationship, another relationship, and they're coming towards you. Okay? Third one. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations are, are there. You need to um, talk to each other, discuss each other, and talk about what you're wanting in life, especially when it comes to finances and career with them. Maybe you're wanting some more from them. Maybe... Um, 
maybe there was a discussion over someone's working too much or not enough but this really could be the one that's for you okay strange how things come in isn't it I'm thinking a lot of you are just having fears but I think also a lot of you are not going to expect this person to come back. I think they are, they are coming out of a, a chaotic situation themselves now that I'm thinking about it. But it's up to you how you want to deal with this. You are the magician this, this month or no, the month of November. You are the magician in the month of November, Libra. So it's up to you. You can do whatever you want this month. Talk to you later. Bye.